we introduce adversarial augmentation against adversarial attacks, or A5. One aim of our work is to equip an acquisition device with a robustifier network that makes any acquired image certifiably robust against adversarial attacks. Differently from ours, our defense is put in place before the attack is crafted. We also use band propagation to certify the robustness of the image. In the configuration shown here, A5 is used to protect against many in the middle attacks. E5 is easily extended to create physical objects that are certifiably robust. This could be used for the design of tools for robotics, rod signs, or fonts for optical character recognition. E5 is a full framework for preemptive certified protection. Our experiments demonstrate that it overcomes our state-of-the-art defense methods. Let's do a step back and consider our existing defense approaches. This is the case of image purification, but please consider that randomization is also pretty similar. Given an image X belonging to the class Y, an attack delta XA moves X into a new position where the classification is incorrect. Purification reprojects the attacked image back to the manifold of natural images and hopefully it restores the correct classification. Bound computation allows the development of robust classifiers that can be certified against adversarial attacks up to a given attack magnitude. For a given input X and an attack of magnitude epsilon A, the computed bounds allow estimating the worst case classification. The computation of a bound can be used during training when a classifier is trained on the worst case. This process can be interpreted as a form of adversarial training that leads to robust classifiers achieving state-of-the-art results in the field of adversarial defense. Nonetheless, the classification landscape changes during training. Experimentally, there is always a trade-off. High robustness is achieved only at the cost of a loss in clean accuracy. How is A5 different from the existing methods then? Well, given an input X, A5 preemptively moves the input into a position where we can certify that it cannot be attacked. Since A5 mostly changes the data X and not the classification landscape, it achieves a better, clean, robust accuracy trade-off. We exploited different ways of leveraging the idea behind A5, leading to different configurations and applications of a method. Technical details are given in the paper, while here we only give a brief overview. The first configuration is A5 offline or A5O. Given an image X, we solve the optimization problem of finding a defensive perturbation delta XT that makes the image not attackable for a given classifier. In practice, we can create datasets that are certifiably non-attackable for a given classifier. This has little practical importance, but it helps to quantify the potential advantage provided by A5 and answer an important theoretical question. How does a non-attackable image look like? The table shows the significant advantage of A5 in terms of clean and certified accuracy compared to the state-of-the-art Chrome IBP. The image in the slide shows the defensive perturbation found by A5 that, in this case, leverages single pixel variations to increase the robustness. Notice that this kind of argumentation somehow resembles the adversarial attacks that exploit the irregularities and non-smoothness of a classification landscape of a classifier. A5 can be used to train a robustifier network that runs in a protected environment on the acquisition device. The role of a robustifier is to perform on-the-fly defensive augmentation of the data soon after their acquisition without any knowledge of a ground true class. The robustifier network of A5R finds a defensive augmentation that does not exploit pixel level variations like in the case of A5O. The defensive signal is here more regular. Regarding the clean and certified errors, A5R results to be less effective than A5O, but it still largely beats Crown IBP. So far, we have considered cases where A5 finds defensive augmentations for a given classifier. This is useful to deploy A5 in real system and using legacy classifiers, but it does not fully exploit the potential of our idea. 
in I5RC will leverage the co-adaptation of a robustifier and classifier during training to further improve the results. Metrics reported in the table show that the co-adaptation of a robustifier and classifier leads to a significant boost in performance, even surpassing A5O, while the pattern in the defensive augmentation remains similar to that of A5R, with colors and contrast enhanced to increase the robustness of a processed image. A5 can be used to create certifiably robust physical objects. In this case, we only have to include the camera model in the training pipeline, while the cost function and training procedure are basically unchanged. This procedure could be used to create robust road signs that cannot be attacked or, as shown in the next slide, robust fonts for optical character recognition. Experimental results show that A5 can be used to create certifiably robust physical objects with performance that largely beats that of a standard robust classifier. Also, in this case, best results are obtained by co-training the classifier while adapting the shape of the robustified fonts. The image on the right shows the appearance of original and robustified fonts. In conclusion, we have demonstrated that A5 allows preemptive certifiable robustification offline and on the fly for acquired data and offline for physical objects. We have also shown the benefit of co-training with the classifier. More technical details and results are described in our paper. We have also observed at least one limitation of a proposed method. Scaling to large architecture remains problematic as for other methods based on bound computation. To allow further investigation of this aspect and more, we release our code in the provided link. Thanks.